Welcome back to Captain of Industry, this amazing new game in early access. If you missed it, I have a game review on my channel as well as a few episodes in this series where we started right from the scratch and as a tutorial I'm showing you how to survive. I also have a couple of videos on perfect layouts and guides. Don't hesitate to check on the channel on the video description below if you want to look for that. At the beginning we only had trucks, we didn't have very efficient elements and not a lot of resources so we built a bit randomly. In the last episode we started to use quite efficient layout, we didn't have conveyor belts yet but we started to plan as if we would have them quite soon. For example here we started to produce quite a lot of iron in an efficient way. Here we started to produce a lot of construction part level 1 but also level 2. And so with those level 2 construction parts that you can see I have 4 right now, we'll be able to start producing conveyor belts. And given that, I want to take a bit of time to really optimize, to delete a lot of things, to create good layouts. So it's probably going to take a few years in games. As you can see right now, we are in year 12 only. And probably going to, as I said, take a few years and then I'll show you the result a few years later when I'm going to clean a few things, really optimize those production, really double a lot of those production so that we're ready to then go quick into the next steps. And it is six years have passed. And of course, this number of years is not really because it took me years to create those things. It's just because it takes years to get the construction part. But now that we have really optimized layouts, building a lot of construction part per minute, we'll be able to really start playing at normal speed and grow. As you can see, for example, I have a reserve of 200 parts here. I have almost 100 level two and a lot of other resources. I do have a few things in the red. We're going to talk about that. But before, let me show you a bit what we've done. So here, first of all, this is our iron layout. We've optimized it so that we have the belts. We have the coal and the iron, both of them coming directly here. As you can see, one of them is on the ground and one is at level one. Given that you only need nine and 24, this is 48, you can definitely have just one belt for both of these. Now, if I double this, I can still have only one conveyor belt for the coal, but for the iron, I will put a second one. And that's also why I put the, the iron on the bottom layer, so it's easy. Then here we have, of course, our gas coming, our exhaust, then we have here the slag that's coming out this one going just up one and this one on the floor and this takes the slag and then the molten goes in the middle important to turn it around it could be at the bottom like it is now the exit could be at the bottom that wouldn't be great so when that happens you know what you can do is just rotate it and then press f to, to mirror it and now it's at the top right now it's at the top and that way the belt is a lot lo is a lot smaller and this is important because the belt costs electricity the good thing with belts is you don't need trucks anymore but you do need electricity they also cost resources of course so the longer they are the more it's gonna cost then it goes into th those two unit storage that are actually full if possible good to put it empty like this so that you know this will continue to run all the time i can create more storage on the side if i want can't really dump it in the ocean but the main the main good thing would be obviously to use this iron and this is one of the next thing we'll do of course then this iron goes under this small bridge this is one of the research at the end of this part one this is this one here ramp for vehicle that the, the vehicles can go above and they don't have to go around. This goes into this one, the iron, then we have the concrete slab here and the wood. All of these then are needed for all four of these, right? Because all four of these are construction part, which need the iron, wood and concrete slab. In terms of how I did it, one as always, one is on the ground. This is the concrete one. You can see the concrete just go straight on the ground and then here then we have the wood it is level one starts here goes level one all the way and then you know every so often i have a connector that goes down like this only the last one 
just to make it a bit even prettier i put it on the floor and then lastly my iron goes level two and similarly you know you go down sometimes it doesn't it didn't really go straight so i had to go a bit on the side but usually it works really well if you haven't seen my videos on how to make some of those layouts you know usually i mean you take one of your conveyor you press e to go up and do something like this for example now i am I am up at level two right you double click then you're going to click where you want and then you can press q to go down and you can see that usually your level two takes quite a few tiles uh, five tiles to be precise and then if you're level one you can do the same and here when you're level one it only takes three tiles to connect back to the ground then these ones are going into the storage of construction part while these ones are going directly into another assembly manual which is for part two because for part two you need um, part ones and electronics at the beginning i also put some unity on it as you can see this is here you press here boost it costs some unity per month then doubles the production the problem is that you know this is only producing six per minute so if i have a boost i need 12 so it doesn't work so well on the long term so i'm gonna take it now out i just made it earlier because i wanted to really optimize that production and then it just goes into construction part the reason i connected it directly is to avoid having a belt which costs remember some electricity and here the reason i put some space is because then later i'm going to put another uh, storage with the other thing we need which is electronics and then conveyor belt put the electronics in so that's why i needed that space here okay so that's the first thing we did really optimize that production i think the next thing will be to double this put it here as we said we'll be able to just use this and just have a second belt here it will be all good and then the production of iron here will go into other things some could go again into uh, a construction part if you want but i also want to make some mechanical parts uh, with that iron and maybe also a few vehicle parts then the next big thing we did is here look at this huge concrete factory this is all about creating concrete it has one fluid storage and that one fluid storage is you know gonna be full filled by this groundwater pump and a groundwater pump is 48 per minute right one of these requires six per minute so 4 is 24 and therefore 8 is 48. So this is good on the water. Similarly, this is also good on the slag. So we're producing 24, 24 times 3, that's 72. And that's exactly what we need with this one. Because this is 9 and 8. So that's going to be, you know, 3 of these is the perfect ratio. What you do have to be careful with this one is that because this is 72, this is more than one um, conveyor can do, right? Con one conveyor is 60. So you do need to make sure that you use two conveyors. You know, there is basically this one is linked to this one, and then those two are linked to this one. Two is fine because that's um, 48, right? And similarly on the exit, there's all of these that are working for this five, and then uh, this one will work for those three. We need only four of these rotary clean because they produce three cement per minute and the efficient one the efficient sort of recipe only needs 1.5 so to have eight we only need four so as you know this is the entry for the slag it goes into the crushers here and here similarly you need two huh? and so that's the same then it goes out here into the slag then the slag goes here into level one on both sides then we have the sand the sand goes up here in level two all the way over here and then here it comes back down over here this is level zero obviously and similarly over here and over there then we have the cement you know, that's good. that's what i've put on level zero it is here on level zero comes over there here on level zero and similarly on the other side and lastly we have the water so as i said the water comes through over here what would be even better is to have if i put all of this over here 
exactly actually over here <laughs> so that it would be linked directly to the groundwater pump but that's not the end of the world that uh, water i've put two pipes it could work with one to be honest and it is at level one it all goes all the way over here you can see it level one all the way and then in between the two concrete mixers you can see it's coming down coming down and lastly of course when the concrete slabs are done they come out into those two unit storage here so right now i've uh, activated half of it i can activate very soon the second half um, and it it should be fine in terms of uh, the resources it's all inputs that we have a lot of to be honest or that i can increase easily if needed so that's going to produce i mean already this produces enough concrete this is because this is 12 for each this produces enough concrete for those four here then the next small thing i did is here i've doubled my crude oil uh, production we have we've just doubled it easy i haven't doubled yet my fuel production my diesel production and to be honest this is maybe gonna be a problem soon as you can see i don't have that much only 200 also because i am using diesel uh, for the electricity i had to i had to increase my electricity production because all of those things were taking quite a bit of electricity and then the other thing i did is starting cleaning over here this is not finished but we've sort of increased the production we also have now two of those blast furnaces and therefore four of these one here which are also you know looking up right? the exit is here instead of being here and then the next thing is going to be to move the copper electrolysis just here to finalize a bit that layout but i haven't done it yet because look at my copper I have quite a bit of copper um, in stock so but soon it will be ready oh and the last thing sorry that i forgot is for this new concrete we actually need sand so i had to start the sand production here you can see i have way too many trucks actually and three trucks they're full or not enough storage if you wish because you actually don't need much you know it's three only sand per uh, one so now that we've done this part and on this part we can start deleting a few of those things here which weren't really useful for example this crusher here let's do it there's two mixers for sure and i think we're also going to delete all of this and just double it over there right do it that's going to give us some resources which we can use i'm not going to delete that right away because right now there's a mix of parts but also mechanical parts and others so we can keep them for now let's delete also this 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 one um yeah we can leave it for now it's fine it's not really consuming much you know it's, it's not consuming electricity or anything so we can leave it even if now that i have this you know water pump this is a lot more efficient for sure I could also stop it to be honest for now because i have so much reserve of water as you can see um can i put water here yeah we can i can put it here and just take a look at it and then you know start it again when needed so let's unpause we've stopped electricity so this decreased quite a lot all of this is getting destroyed this will take a bit of our truck we have a few in unity so maybe let's use some unity you know to unpack all of this the one thing we haven't done yet, maybe you've realized, is all of those rotary clean, they need limestone and coal. I haven't put yet this. So while I was rebuilding the city, we've definitely done fuel research too. We finished the groundwater, we finished the efficient concrete, the fuel station, which will be interesting in the future when we have a good fuel production to make sure that our excavators start going, stop going back and forth. We've also done the irrigating farms, crop rotation where you can start saying when the farm stop working i'll show you that probably in the next episode now we're researching the settlement water which is to give water to a population to increase their happiness and therefore the unity that they produce um, and i have activated a few others like vehicle management 
those two uh, transport balancing and smart conveyor routing which to be honest we don't really need right now but later on will be interesting then we have the housing we have a few edicts vegetables there's, there's definitely many other things that we need to do in the future let's conclude this episode by finishing this whole part over here a lot of unity but we have a lot of unity I'll leave it to build and should be fine and also doubling this one live so we're going to copy all of this place it um, I was a bit worried here about this one so let's, let's use just one tile and it should be fine so as we said let's continue first the u-shape conveyor which is for your mine thing from here we'll go all the way good to make them bigger at the beginning you can always delete them after that's why i'm also in planning mode always and then this one oh no sorry <laughs> i forgot that we need a second one and here you know you you don't want to connect you have to be careful so what you press is f when you press f it will um, not connect automatically we do this perfect okay so the this one is done and then we do the call so we start level one and then we connect similarly here we start level one and then we connect okay then we have the pipe goes back like this then one connect perfect then we have our molten channel goes in the middle connect one then you click again you connect perfect and then you continue and boom. okay and delete it right away okay uh, why is there one space here it's not needed that's gonna cost more than i also left one space here somehow for some so there is one tile inefficiency here that I missed before. Sorry, I don't know why. But we'll survive just for one tile. But yeah, we have definitely a problem of fuel right now. Okay, and we need the molten on the other side too, of course. Perfect. And then the conveyor belt. That should work. Uh, this one is not gonna work i can go there so this one will be very full but that's fine i also have here an exit that i will use so i'm happy with that and then this one now usually it's better to start the other way around um do i want another or do i just want to connect i just want to connect because that is only 12 that's 24 so it it should be fine uh, maybe that one will be more than 60. Oh, we should survive we have reached our maximum number of vehicles that's interesting we're researching soon something to increase it by 20. and also i think now we are going to need a lot less vehicles now that we have a lot more conveyors than before what do we need that part here okay so this is going and we are missing just this one over here now, let me start with that one yeah we can connect on the ground that's great and then this one on the other hand will go up no, i want to go uh that's too high only level one not the prettiest but it will work and is that enough because that's 12 yeah so that's fine that will work okay then press p and u okay so this is built this is going to start and produce a lot of iron so in the next episode for sure i'm going to show you how to use all of this iron we're going to improve probably all of those assembly into electric ones and we're going to build, you know, make sure that we build mechanical parts and vehicle parts over here. I also want then to connect 
my electronics and start making a lot more of electronics. It's copper and rubber, we're making both of those things. We can improve that, but we can definitely do it. The next thing to do though, before we end this episode is let's do our first expedition on the map. The ship is ready. We have basically emptied the shipyard. So let's go on the map and let's start to discover. In particular, we want to discover the oil rig as soon as we can. Okay, the ship is gone. We've built so many things right now that we've definitely um, made a lot of red. In particular, it seems that our limestone production is now stalling a bit. So let's put second excavator and ship and truck. Now that we have those four, I can imagine why this is stalling a bit. Look at this, how beautiful this is. It's also going to start recreating quite a bit of slag. That's good. We are getting quite low on electronics though. So this one is very important for us to get back up. This exploring, it has arrived. You can see it here at the top. Oh, it got stuck on the pile of... <laughs> Let's recover, recover it. Okay, and our first exploration. Got some rubber, some copper, and some vehicle parts. And a lot of people actually. I would have preferred some fuel, but this is already something. Hope you liked this episode. Don't hesitate to tell me in the comments below if you have any thoughts about this series or the game. Love to hear about it and I hope to see you next time.